You're still learning. You're still trying to hone your craft because tell us, tell us about that mindset. Cause I think, I think a lot of people think that they can get a little successful and then they can just kind of ride the wave and not continue to learn. And I'm always trying to find as much stuff as I can because you're why stop learning, right? I, I have a core values, a list of core values, love, education, responsibility, and culture. So for number two, education, the reason that I value education is because I like getting into really deep conversations with people. I like to understand what their emotions are, why they think what they think, why I think what I think. And in order to have conversations like that, I found myself wanting to constantly learn more. And mm. so I, I do a couple things there. Number one is this beautiful app called Blinkist, where you get these audiobook summaries. I do two or three of those a day on average. Mm -hmm. And then on Friday, after my meditation, I reflect on all the blinks that I listen to these little audio book summaries. And then I choose one for the following week that I'm going to do audio book in full. So every week I get these 15 to 20 thought provoking little book summaries. Plus I read one full book per week via audio book. And usually wow. that's on my walk. So I, I dedicate, a, I mean, that's a lot of time. That's six to eight yeah. hours a week, just learning, learning, learning. I'm obsessive about it. I think we all like the idea of being a lifelong learner. But that's the way that's that's the mechanism in which I do that. And, and what I find is because I'm constantly absorbing these and I'm not just a dumpster for books. That's part of it is the acquisition of knowledge. The other side of it is I want to create knowledge. I want to write articles. I want to do research studies. I want to publish that work. You're a writer. You know how it is. There's oh, yeah. this great self-fulfillment piece about I learned this. I want to share this with other people to help them operate at a better place. Mm -hmm. And then once you've done that, you've you've acquired knowledge, you create knowledge, you disseminate knowledge. Now you can really get in and debate like we're doing right now. We're talking, we're interviewing. I love the interview format when you ask people tough questions. Uh, and that's most of my content on LinkedIn is all about that. Yeah, your, your content on LinkedIn is, is awesome. Yeah.